Hi everyone, welcome to RAM24.com and today we will be taking apart the Samsung Galaxy S24 Fan Edition. First we need to remove the SIM card tray. To do this we use a special SIM eject tool. Insert it into the small hole and gently push out the card tray. Take note that the tray is located at the top of the phone. Next we need to heat the back core to a temperature of approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We are using a heating pad for this, but you can also use a hair dryer. And after heating it for about 5 to 10 minutes, we can start separating and lift the back core. To do this, we use a thin plastic film. This could be something like film from a stationary store or the protective film from a new display. We carefully insert the film into the gap between the back core and the mid frame, then slide it along the edge to cut through the adhesive. As always, be especially careful around the camera area to avoid touching the lenses. It is also important not to insert the film too deeply as there may be cables underneath that could get damaged. It is also a good idea to cover the camera lenses for protection. Please note that we are applying a special protective film to the rim around the lens, not directly on the lens itself. After this, we move on to removing the screws at the top. We will use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips hash trio. It is best to organize the screws on a dedicated surface and keep them in order you remove them, since screws often don't fit properly in the wrong holes. We will leave one screw in place to keep the camera secure and prevent them from moving around. Once the screws are out, we can disconnect the connector for the NFC and wireless charging module. Next, we carefully lift this section and use a non-metal tool to disconnect the battery connector. After that, we will remove the screws from the lower part of the phone. It is a good idea to bend the battery flex cable back so it doesn't accidentally reconnect. And again, it is a good idea to keep the bottom screws separate from the top ones. Once those screws are removed, we can start lifting the bottom cover. We carefully pry it up from the correct spot and gently lift it. If the cover doesn't come off in a certain area, take your time and don't force it. Make sure nothing is stuck and avoid damaging any components. After that, we remove the NFC wireless charging module and bottom speaker module. Now we will disconnect the connectors on the subboard, then the connectors on the main board, and remove the antenna cable and the interconnect flex cable. Next we will unscrew the two screws securing the subboard. We will again use the 1.5mm Philips screwdriver or Philips hash trio. These screws are different from the others, so keep them separate. Now we will disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector and remove the subboard. The subboard sits slightly recessed, so be very careful here. And we gently lift and remove the subboard, the charging port, microphone and other components are located on the subboard. The fingerprint sensor and vibration motor remain in the display frame. And now our usual quick check of the microphone opening. The microphone hole is located in the display frame and has an L-shaped design. On the back side there is a gasket or membrane and the microphone itself is positioned on the subboard on the opposite side. So, if something is inserted into the mic hole from the outside, it won't damage the microphone. And now we move on to the motherboard. We can try to leave the core at the top. As always, we need to locate the clips holding it in place. Don't rush this step and don't use force. Work carefully to avoid breaking anything. Try gently lifting the core from different spots 
until it starts to come loose. Once the cover is off, set it aside. There is a speaker attached to the cover, so be careful with it. Now we can disconnect the front-facing camera, carefully detach it and, of course, it is best to cover the lens to keep dust from getting in. Next we unscrew the screw that holds the cameras and the one that holds the main board in place. Again, we are using the 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver. Now we can lift the motherboard from the correct spot. Carefully pry it up, lift it and remove it. Turn it over and we can disconnect the rear cameras. We detach the rear cameras and set them aside, along with the motherboard. And we can now do the same microphone opening check at the top of the phone. Like before, the hole has an L shape and the microphone is on the other side, mounted on the motherboard. Because of this, inserting something into the hole won't damage the microphone. Finally, we move on to removing the battery. Like many Samsungs from that time, it has a blue pull tab in the center and two transparent tabs on the sides that need to be detached first. Then we pull the blue tab upward. As usual, we try pulling on the blue tab, but the battery doesn't come out. It looks like part of it has fused to the frame, possibly due to high heat. So first we need to find the spot where it's stuck, carefully separate it and then slowly pull the battery out. And now the battery is removed. That completes our disassembly. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video or on our website or on our Telegram channel. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.